Hi, welcome to Saving Throw, and welcome to another not terrifying, totally calm, very safe episode <laughs> involving the Dark Souls role-playing game. I have here with me three... Don't say the V word. Victims. I wanted to be clear about that. Uh, three <laughs> lovely players. We are missing one, so then I won't immediately destroy them. But what we will do is do some unique, delightful world building, get into some danger that they will have to find their way out of, and all of you get to enjoy. But I've talked in intimidating, vamping manner enough. My name is Gabe Hicks, and I will be your dreadlord for the evening. I have with me three delightful individuals, and we're going to go around the table and introduce ourselves. So on my left, there is the lone Draconics. Jack, oh, the lone. Please. <laughs> I could, I had it, and as soon as, as soon as you, I, it broke. Go ahead. Introduce yourself, Jack. No maidens? I, I am Draconics, a.k.a. the lone Draconics. Uh, it's, it's dope I, when you say it. Does it? Yeah, it makes you title. sound like okay, yeah. Um, it sounded like an player. insult when when Gabe said it, but for you, it sounds like like a deep backstory. Yes, <laughs> you sound like a mini boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the I lone draconics. Anyway, um, hi, I'm Drake called Draconics. I use he they pronouns. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Draconics. Um, I'm gonna be playing Stitches. Um, I'm probably gonna be. End up ending up in stitches um, from what Gabe has been threatening <laughs> off stream. <laughs> um, I saw Gabe's tweet about a centipede with mouse on its feet. I realized I didn't describe how big or small it was, and it's way funnier that way. Yeah, honestly, both are terrifying. Yeah, because <laughs> I have I have a concept in my head, but if it's smaller than like sixty of them climbing on top of each other, oh, and if it's God. big, think one like the size of like a bus. Oh boy, okay. Mm, this is fun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put EJ's character in front of me and let them take all the hits. So. <laughs> I'll cover like maybe up to your knee. <laughs> hey, every little helps, honestly. <laughs> EJ, introduce yourself for us. Hi, everyone. What I'm EJ. Way? I'm that's one big egg in chat. I'm several big eggs on Twitter. And tonight I'm playing a <laughs> little guy. I'm playing a little guy. I think his name is Zach. But who knows? They know maybe fantasy name general will have something else for me. But for now, my name is Zach and I'm a little guy. That never not gets weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the that right. one big egg and what what are your what are your what are your what are several your big eggs? Several that one big egg and several big eggs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm amassing more, you know? Multiplying. There's more of me. No, Eric. Eric, please talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Eric. Uh, and uh, tonight, uh, I'm, I'm showing off my new character, Montgomery, uh, Monty Boyd. Uh, he's the cleric of the group, and he's in for some shenanigans, I'm sure. Yeah. So we have Monty stitches and zach mm -hmm. but with an x and a q i feel like i have to make that clear the, the x is first right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. xaq yeah xaq zach nailed it <laughs> well do you remember where we were last time we had dived into the world of dark souls i believe we were talking to a thing that a was super just friendly guy yeah, who <laughs> yes. turned out to be sort of a an angler fish of a person. Yep, the grave he taker. He loved us. He he, oh yes, first impression. Yeah, oh, I you absolutely did. Definitely didn't talk about replacing you immediately. Um, <laughs> and we bring us back to that moment around this bonfire. The grave taker, their true form, rescinds into the ground. And what stays above is the weird shadowy cloaked figure that you saw before. But then the ground starts to shake and you see a bit of light in the distance. You see what looks to be an exit as a stone wall shifts to the side. And the grave taker simply slumps down and shoulders leaning, holding upon the staff and their crooked grin spreads across their lips once more. 
not looking at any of you and breathing heavily. What do you do? Right. I think we've overstayed our welcome. I'm I'm leaving. Anyone else coming with? I latch onto your ankle. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's cool. go. Yeah. This is happening. I'll go too, but you know, I'm I'm a I'm a walk. My own. Yeah, self. no, I, yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. Actually, I don't think I could <laughs> hold your weight. I was gonna like, I guess drag <laughs> Zach along with <laughs> Dang. All right. <laughs> So I wave all, goodbye to the to the group taker. I go bye. And an arm comes out of their shoulder and then waves back at you. Oh, not even turning okay. their head. So there's there's a couple things that we're going to do for this moment for all of you since this may be your first experience with the Dark Souls role playing game. And God, this will be an interesting one. Um, <laughs> there is a bunch of different sections in this book. We've talked a little bit about it previously. You have seen how thick this book is. It's a weird sentence in hindsight. It's too late. I'm going to keep going. Uh, <laughs> there are <laughs> uh, You're not wrong. It's, a, it's about six C's, like yeah. six, six CC's, whoa, whoa. which I guess is 12. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Gosh. All right. <laughs> hold book. on. <laughs> yeah, it really is. But so there are seven different sections. There is the character generation, which we went over a little bit in the first episode, getting to talk through, see what the different options were. Then there are the core rules. So that is related to general 5e information, if you know it. There's a little bit of changes, like we talked about positioning, which is a version of like health in this game. Then there is saving throws, resting, different conditions, uh, poison, and traps, which we might get into today. We'll see what happens. The third section is magic and miracles. In the Dark Souls universe, there are plenty of different types of arcai arcane abilities that you can use. And the way that they manifest depends on if you are a pyromancer, a mage of some sorts, or a member of faith and clergy. Then there is equipment, and there is plenty of equipment that has been altered and adjusted to meet the five E standards of rulings. But... If you do pick up this book, you will notice that every piece of equipment that is from the Dark Souls games does have its actual icon included in this tabletop role-playing game. It's it pretty is, nice. It is yeah. a delightful attention to detail that I was so excited about. Then the fifth chapter is Kindling the Flame. So that is a chapter that is more for someone who might want to run this game, more for a DM or a storyteller. It talks about running a Dark Souls game, difficulty levels, lore and canon, different plot and goals you can give to your party, locations, themes, encounters, bosses, NPCs, bonfires, necessary fills, and even optional rules for summoning characters to help the party fight in challenges that may be beyond them. Then it even goes into the next chapter of the world of Lothric, where there is the Cemetery of Ash, the Firelink Shrine, the Undead Settlement. There are over a dozen locations in here already determined with random encounters, with NPCs that are inside of them, with ways that traps might interact with the party. And there's even a full section. And I just want you to, I just want you to know how massive this is. There is a section of monsters and antagonists that is stat blocks. It starts on page 394, and it goes past page three, uh, 480. Yeah, I believe that's nearly a fourth of this book. <laughs> I didn't read that far. <laughs> I'm sure there aren't that many unfriendly guys out there. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yes, there are. Oh, great. Yes, there are. So something I want to ask right off the bat, um, since this is your first time playing the Dark Souls role-playing game, what sort of areas do you picture when you think of Dark Souls? What do they look like? Oh. I mean, I, I always love uh, a dilapidated castle full of, full of all kinds of things. Hmm. Ooh, okay, Eric, that's great. Bloodborne in my head with Dark Souls. Got recently yeah, I was that. thinking Bloodborne too. <laughs> oh my! I God. love me a good foggy forest with like trees that are just far too tall, and you feel like a little small bug. Mm. Yeah, when you're like, I'm in the open, I'm safe, and you're like, 
oh wait, I can't see more than a couple of feet and anything could be behind these trees. And then you walk up to the big bear that's like scratching the tree, just like Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah. That was sca- that was scary. Yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> Drac, what did let's say there is a small fort inside of this forest of trees that reach almost beyond the sky. What do you think is in the fort? Um I think it's like probably it seems welcoming, but the moment you step in, it's kind of littered with dead like corpses. Um with dresses like clothing that seem like way too far in the past from where where they must have died, but they still seem to be preserved somehow. I love this. Thank you for helping me set the scene. <laughs> you all walk through this exit. You start walking upwards of a small slope, and then there is a bit of dim light coming from the engines. You can see it in the distance. And when you step out, you find yourselves in a dilapidated stone fort. There are trees in the distance reaching far above what seems to be natural and native. This strange tomb leads into what looks to be a fort where people have abandoned it. But there are, well, the living have abandoned it. There are bodies stricken across the ground in Renaissance clothing, in strange tones of blues and reds, but their faces, their faces are completely smooth. No features to be seen, almost like mannequins. You see five, 10, 15 just strewn across the ground, silent. And on the edge of the fort's wall, straight ahead of you, you see an enormous crow just sitting, perched, staring at you three. Eyes barely moving, except to blink, but only the left eye. The right eye stays open, almost as if it's stuck. Um. Well, this is your stop, little guy. I'm just gonna like grab Zach by the scruff of their neck and like pull them off his leg. Yeah. If you drop me on the ground, I go splat a little bit. Oh god, yeah, he definitely does drop you. Okay. You turn into a puddle, but then reform into a person. Yeah, I have a feeling one needs as much of a mobility as possible, at the very least to run fast and both of you two. Um anyone know where we are oh yeah yeah no everyone knows about the creepy fort with the blank faces well you've never Mm -hmm. heard of this place creepy creepy fort town creepy fort yeah i assumed you're being um like do you You mean it because the little guys i've never been anything but sincere in my life that's true i can tell I, i i can tell At that point, you all hear what sound. It sounds like a beast, a bestial growl. As you're looking around this rundown area, you do notice there is what looks to be kind of a broken gate, gnarled and twisted with time and decay. And three small beasts walk their way around the corner, ribs protruding through grave-tinted flesh, eyes stained with a berserk lust for flesh, noses moving around. They look like hounds or cats, some sort of strange four-legged creature, an abomination of nature. I would like everyone to make a stealth check for me. And this is a group check. So even if you do not personally succeed, like the Dark Souls role-playing game mentioned previously, as long as the majority pass, then it is a success in that sense. 18. 18? I got plus three to stealth. 
Dirty 20. Yeah. 10. 10. And what did you get, Jack? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, so We're Monty good. and Stitches, you do see these beasts coming around and you find a pillar to move behind very quickly to get your situation together. Stitches, you undoubtedly grab the little guy by the scruff and just pull him by excuse me zach and pull him <laughs> along with you to hide behind this pillar as these three starved hounds start sniffing around at the weird figures on the ground I'm what do you do stay as quiet as possible um your steps seem to scrouch constantly so you can just sit on my shoulder or something I clamber up. Oh, oh god damn it. Okay. <laughs> Guess like we can How many of them do you think they're gonna eat before they're satisfied? Like you think you think they eat all those bodies and they go away or we um, feed them one out the little one? I mean I, I look around see to see who the little one is. <laughs> <laughs> I like cover I cover Zach's ears and goes, Hey, if if push comes to shove we just need to run faster than zach and yeah. they've got really little legs tiny they're like six inches <laughs> long <laughs> i can't hear you <laughs> oh oh um that was a joke that was obviously uh a joke um i think i think what we can do is maybe hope and wait and just watch them eat and when they they're fall just asleep dogs. They're just, uh, just dogs I love dogs. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear... Uh, everybody make a perception check, actually. Make you work for it. No. <laughs> I rolled a Ten. two. Nine. We're a very wow. perceptive group. <laughs> uh, you all hear a massive sound in the distance, but you're unaware of what it is. And as you're having this discussion you then hear a massive boom coming from the center of the courtyard as something slams into the courtyard where those three beasts were. And you hear a bellowing roar. You see one of the starved hounds slam into the wall next to you and turn into a paste as the dust is still starting to settle. Then you hear chomping, chomping. You see a tuft of flame shoot upwards and the dust starts to clear and you see a massive dragon with three heads uh -huh. and two tails, axes at the end of each of its tails, a large gem in its forehead. One head is gobbling down one of the starved hounds, almost eating it whole. The other head grabs one and tosses it into the air. And as it's falling back down, the two heads grab one to the side and each take a half. Oh, we're I fucked. Just, I pull out a club. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do with that? I that's a dragon. It... I mean go right ahead. I'm staying right here. Um The dragon fact... hasn't noticed us yet? Nope. Okay. Do you want it to? Alright, we can stay on you know. <laughs> but because this is a Dark Souls game, you each get 150 souls as those three dogs have died. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. We will go into how souls work later. Yeah, no, I'm saying right here. In fact, we could probably like go back to the grave. What was it, gravekeeper? Maybe they could help out. Um, oh yeah, yeah. We go, we go talk to the. Big old Anglo fish and tell him, "Hey, hey uh, we're yeah, done here. Like Send us back." Bad in a dragon, like honestly. Dragon. Yeah, um, we'll distract the dragon while we make a run for it. Ooh, I like that idea. I forgot to whisper for Ooh, a second. I went. Ooh. You know what? Because this is a Dark Souls game as well, uh, and it's more fun this way. Uh, Let's say the UI pops up when this dragon appears. Oh, and yeah. And you see the name The End of Days appear. <laughs> Have I heard of this? Um, No. No, oh, this one okay. is foreign. Oh. Oh. <laughs> run. <laughs> run. Run. Yeah, Um, I think we should run. Um, 
<laughs> right. But and like, then I slide down him like a fireman pole. <laughs> Good. I'm I'm sticky. I don't like this. Okay. Um, looking like, can we see past the dragon? Like any points of egress? Any way we can run out of? Yeah, you could probably if you were fast enough, you could probably make it out the gate that the dogs had come into. Okay. Run. And yeah. you all, you notice the entrance you came through seems to have been covered again with a rock once more. So that front gate is your only point of egress. Okay. I don't know if I use that word right, so it might not be <laughs> egress. I think I think ingress is is an entrance. Egress is, is, is exit. Yes. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Eric. Yeah, because there's a, there's that old Barnum and Bailey thing where they would you would pay like a nickel to go see the see the egress, and people yes. would go, and it would just be the exit to the. <laughs> now we'll never forget. <laughs> so you know what? This is a great moment for us to roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, no. So something also very unique about the Dark Souls role-playing game is that NPCs and creatures have a distinct initiative number. They essentially have an initiative DC, so they do not need to roll. There will be moments when their initiative DC will say, always acts first. Luckily for this group, this is not one of those moments. So the way that it works is that the party members will either go fast, meaning they rolled higher than the initiative DC, or slow, meaning they rolled lower than the initiative DC. And that just determines if they're going before or after the creature. So I'm going to go around. Eric, what did you get? I got a 14. 14. Delightful. EJ, what did you get? I got a nat 20, so 22. Hell yes. And then Drac, what did you get? I also got a 14. Delightful. So you're very fortunate. In this first tutorial circumstance, the end of days initiative DC was a 12. Ooh. So all of you will be acting before this creature. The exit is 40 feet away from you. Now first, and the nice thing is, since all of you are going first, technically you can act in any order that you would like to because you're all going before the creature. You are all going fast. Okay. How would you like to try to and survive? It's like, we can do like action and movement, right? That's the- You absolutely can. Okay. I, I motion to, to Monty, throw me. Throw me. Throw me. Monty is just going to take a full dash and just try and run for the oh. door. <laughs> My speed isn't fast enough to get out. <laughs> Throw me. Monty just books it out the gate. And as you do, this dragon turns its head very slowly and its tail whips into the stone walls and even leaves a relatively deep gas just as it's turning its head. One of the heads is following Monty move and then two of the other look in the direction that Monty came from. Fuck. Um, I grab, I'm gonna grab um, Zach. <laughs> And um, throw Zach, I guess, which I'm guessing is just Zach's yeah. movement. So I'll throw um, Zach. Well, that's your action, and then we get the movement on top of that, right? I just can't make it all the way out on just my movement. <laughs> Wait, what's your movement? Well, it's the exit's forty feet away, right? Yeah, but you can yeah. you can dig a dash action, which is just double yeah. move. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. No, I have a big brain. Don't worry about it. I, I thought of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you? Because that's literally what Eric did. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, this is this is a this is an RP choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, I like yeah, it. I, use I like my big it. Brain. Yeah. Because like it. because if if you're having stitches throw you, stitches isn't gonna be able to dash. Yeah, you're right. I'll take my dash action then. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm fine with stitches that hanging was, out. That was the... my own choice, and nobody persuaded me. I I'm made that with, decision I'm, on my own. I'm down for stitches to hang out with the end of days. Yeah, like <laughs> I, you, you, you don't know Monty very well, but he was not the person to ask to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Patches is gonna book it. Um, 
for action and um, dash action and movement to get out of there. I like to imagine like we're like okay, we're gonna like strategize, and Monty's just like. I think I can outrun this. And he just yep. takes off. And then everyone's like, oh, I think we should. I guess that's what we're doing. That <laughs> is very akin to how many of my Dark Souls experiences have gone. Yeah. Uh, I there's If you know it, there's a scene, I think, in 3, where there is a dragon on a bridge. And I'm like, oh, I can outrun it. I can outrun this thing. No. <laughs> no, I got humbled very quickly. Um, <laughs> So the three of you, and in my head, I'm going to be honest, Zach, I have no, like, I know that you're dashing, but in my head, you are Dark Souls rolling the whole way out. (laughs) I am on all fours, just kind of like doing that rolling. Oh, God. I Uh, hate it. (laughs) Yeah. So you all all do make your way out and away from the end of days, but... Because this is Dark Souls and nothing is ever easy and you spent your actions just running, you didn't notice a trap in the doorway. I did not. I did not. Now, hmm. One, two, three. Hmm. You know, Monty got there first. Five, six, (laughs) seven, (laughs) eight, nine, ten. God. Uh Eric, pick a number between one and ten. Ooh, five. Five. That's a lucky number. One, two, three, four. Oh. Hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I have to make an attack roll. Oh, great! <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. That's yeah. well. This is a this is this is a learn to play. How else will people learn? Oh, no. So what you have triggered is as you are heading out heading out of this gateway, the dogs themselves weren't heavy enough, but you are heavy enough to trigger a mechanical trap. Yeah. Uh, and that will be mm, uh, 26 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that just barely hits. Just barely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We won. I think we won. won. <laughs> yeah. <so hard. laughs> I got excited. You almost got lucky. You're not- <laughs> so I guess it does nothing. <laughs> Wait, there's no consequences to any of my actions. So you get hit with a dart for two points of piercing damage. So your position goes down by two. Mm-hmm. Now I need you to make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. Cool. Is that all of us or just Monty? Just Monty for now. Okay. Constitution. I don't think I get any special bits with that just yet. Uh, I rolled a natural 20. Oh, Ooh. I am. Plus two. Genuinely happy for you. All right. <laughs> so then you are reducing this to half. Uh-huh. Oh, great. That's great. Uh, because I rolled 19 points oh. of poison damage. Halved. Uh... Yeah. Are we gonna roll up or down in this? I think it should round up, honestly. It's Dark Souls, you know. Always go for the higher, in my opinion. Right, Drek. So that's we're gonna round that up to 10 then instead. <laughs> so you're gonna take 10 points of poison damage. Okay. Uh yeah. Monty is just like ha, 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 and then just falls. Are you dead? Are you dead? I only had I, ten position. Yeah, we only have. I only have like nine. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, stitches. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <You're next? laughs> that is a twenty total to hit. Yeah. For two points of piercing damage. Uh huh. 
and I need That's you to it. make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. <sighs> this is very Dark Souls already. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, I can run past that dragon, no problem. I rolled a 15 exactly. Yeah. Uh, so you will take half. Um, I'm done. I'm guessing I'm down. Uh, you, don't, you don't know that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. You can't. You can't prove that. Yeah, maybe Gabe's just really happy that you're alive still. <laughs> that <laughs> is <laughs> nine points of poison damage. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I had. A total of nine and already knocked that down by two. Uh, yeah. I, so we're getting stuck and we're like, ow, that's oh god. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> I couldn't have asked for more of a Dark Souls moment. You <laughs> ran past the optional boss and a trap took you out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Zach. Am I rolling it? Because I already rolled and I want to keep that one. <laughs> No, that's fine. I rolled a nat twenty to hit. Was the issue? Was the issue? So I'm gonna, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna double, I'm doubling, the, I'm doubling the damage dice for the dart, not the poison. Uh huh. The poison. I'm sure. I'll I don't think it will matter. Honestly, it matters. Because yeah, we both saved against the poison. I saved with a nat twenty. It wasn't enough. <laughs> so that is three points of piercing damage. And I rolled a 19 for my constitution saving throw. All right, throw. so that is that is going to be half of this. Three. Now we okay. just have to roll low enough. And this is we. I'm with you. I'm with you. Right? <laughs> we got to. Okay. okay. So that's... I feel supported here. I feel safe. I feel safe, Gabe. You don't want to ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never rolled this high on d10s in my <laughs> life <laughs> I, because like the that is a that's a 10. i really <laughs> oh my 10? god and i get to i gotta roll it again there's a chance there's a chance there's a chance mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> these dice are loaded wow um it's rigged that's cool. That's cool. Everyone just, just hope we don't roll a one on the whole Halloween thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you saved, right? Yeah, I saved. So yep. that's that's 10 points of poison damage. <laughs> oh my god, you're old Max. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> as soon as I as soon as Zach dies, you see there's like a little like ghost spirit Zach with little wings that floats up from oh. its body. <laughs> you get like the you died and then the little spirit flying away. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um. Well, the lovely part is you go back to the bonfire inside of the cave. No. The tomb where you <laughs> awoke. <gasps> and the grave taker is no longer there. And you do oh. see an opening yet again. Now, now that you've done it once, you realize exiting this is a familiar moment. What's happening is in the Dark Souls video game, when you enter into a boss encounter or a locked area, you're blocked off from going back. Now, in this different circumstance, you're allowed to go forward. You just can't go back. So, and there's no other exit, and there is not, and all of your souls are Go outside ahead. in the doorway. What do you do? Welcome do we to the to Dark Souls role playing game. Thing? <laughs> you do, yeah. You yeah. Did, did we have homework last night? Have, <laughs> are you gonna check I, the I, homework? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had that page <laughs> saved. So this is one of the best things about the Dark Souls role-playing game. Thank you all for being here so we get to really enjoy this freaking loveliest of moments. Everyone has died, which means they have to roll on the respawning chart. This is my favorite part of this. <laughs> Gabe, are you crying right now? <laughs> are you crying? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really... Okay, so you get a chance... 
EJ, I would like to ask you to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 18. Okay. Okay. DC 18? Well, I th did not make that. I All right. <laughs> You're going to have to be rolling on the chart. Drac, go ahead and make a DC oh. 18 wisdom okay. save. 18 is a really I wrote it. twenty. All right, Drac, oh, you gamer. feel yourself able to hold on to your kindled nature. Well, Zach seems to shrivel, <laughs> shrivel up as they start to go through a hollowing moment. Now, Eric, please make a DC 18. I got a 14. Two. Hell, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Darn it. Yeah, I'm so sad <laughs> wow. about that. Darn. <laughs> so, Eric, roll a d20 for me, please. Nineteen. Hmm. Nineteen. That might be not terrible. We could be As terrifying. you hollow a bit, your senses start to dull. Your body shrivels. You are suffering from dulled senses. You're slower to react to threats as they present themselves. Reduce your initiative by negative one. Ooh. Permanently or until the next time he, had, he dies? Permanently. So Ooh. now I'm a, uh, only a plus two to initiative. Forgot I picked a character. Oh my with god, really I forgot stats. these I was like, how do you have plus three? <laughs> I yeah, mean, me maybe there's ways to get rid of it, but we haven't gotten there yet. Oh, boy. Okay. EJ, roll a d20 for me, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got an at 20. <laughs> I don't know if that's I good. Win, right? that's <laughs> I win, right? I win? This has to be good. If this is bad, I'm going to cry. I mean, uh, I'm going to be chilled. Chilled it. We do remember that there are bad and good things on this chart so that there is a bit of fortune every now and then a miracle happens <laughs> and this yeah. is a miracle of the grave ej perhaps you are less than you once were but this time upon returning to life you feel alive gain plus two to any single attribute Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh god, what do I pick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, everything's like a plus one right now. <laughs> I don't have Me good too. So something's going to be a plus two. There, there you go. Wisdom going up. All these saving throws, I'm going to kill it from now on. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, challenge accepted. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do you all try to exit once more? Oh, I, that was awful. That was the worst. Um, um, is there anything else inside of this like cave that we're in right now that can you know, help us? Make a perception check. Madly. Okay. Okay. Eleven. Remember, your perception is high because of your wisdom, please. Eleven. Oh, it's still 11? Okay. <laughs> you see a tiny chest in the corner. Ooh. You know what? Zach isn't. Zach learns nothing from their adventures. They don't check for a trap. They try to open the chest. Mm. Mm. Okay. Is anybody else doing know. anything? Um Scenes that go towards a chest, I make a pointed effort to back away from the chest. I'm like walking up and I'm like cracking my knuckle knuckles. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, just okay. gonna like, like okay, okay, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna get close to this door to run away again. <laughs> <We need> to... <laughs> <laughs> I've put enough traps in chests for my own to know not to trust any I come across. So this is going to get a surprise round. Because this chest, as you approach, it opens the lid and a massive tongue comes out. Two long spindly arms come out of the side and the body extends and goes upwards because you have found a mimic. Yay! My favorite. I had a feeling. I caught it. <laughs> yeah. 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 
You should never trust a chest in Dark yeah. Souls. But it's <laughs> we're not in the boss room yet. We're in we're by the bonfire. Everything's safe at the bonfire. That's why yeah. it's way funnier if it's at the bonfire. Because <laughs> <laughs> where are you gonna go? Right here. Where are you gonna go, right? Where are you uh, gonna so go? It's, it's going to get a surprise attack on you. That is a 16 to hit. Well, the 16 does hit. You t- if you say 10. I didn't say that. <laughs> you take nine bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh my god. I- <laughs> That would instantly taken me out. <laughs> I'd still be up. <laughs> and now we're going to roll up. for initiative. I'm uh, up. For, I'll have I, you know. I briefly remember reading this somewhere and I, um, in the, in the okay. PDF. Um, mm-hmm. Do we gain position when we enter combat? You get like temp position. Oh. Temp position, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do remember saying like hearing like it's only when you roll initiative, so like surprise attacks obviously end up being harder because you don't get your temp position. Um, you know what? I'm really proud of them for actually paying attention and knowing <laughs> this stuff. Yeah, I still think those darts probably would have ended us, but oh know. yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you know, roll, roll, roll initiative, and I will find those rules for you since you're paying attention and actually <laughs> trying to survive <laughs> i i'm i'm known as the everlasting stitches and i feel like i need to last to really earn that title um <laughs> i'm called zach i don't gotta earn shit <laughs> <laughs> lovely yes okay so when you are starting combat you are going to roll one like so a d10 your level basically you're going to roll your levels number of dice so you're level one so one d10 times position dice excuse oh i lied it's more than that oh they like you (laughs) oh god i gotta write this down what's happening During combat, characters will increase their position by rolling a number of position dice determined by their origin and level to generate additional temporary position. Okay. So we just so, basically roll our position dice? Yes. We have, um, which one's our position dice? Is that where it says... How do I know what my position dice is? Uh, what class are you? Deprived. That's right. <laughs> I... And also based on background. The deprived. I did not gain that much. <laughs> yeah, I only gained three on top of that. Yeah, I only gained four. Wow, y'all are really going through it. <laughs> hey, I'm bloody, be... so I get some good stuff right now. Position dice might be based on your background. I What's think you background? might be right, actually. Oh, okay. I have a brute. No, that's brute. my origin. Origin. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, origins. Yes, yeah, yeah. The position comes from origins. Yeah, so you get a D10 as your position die. Yes. Yay, life is good. (laughs) Okay, I get it's the level times the position die. I get nine. Yeah. Nine. I'm back up at 10, baby. (laughs) We can fix that. Oh, God. Okay. (laughs) There's really no need. And when does the bloodied stat become active? When you are under half of your health. Oh, let me use my brain. Okay. Nine. So if if your if your general health is ten, for example, you would be bloodied Mm -hmm. at five or under. Okay. That makes sense. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! So it's before you add the thing, before you add the the temp position. Uh, let me make yeah, sure. Yeah, your base, I think. I'm almost positive that's what it is, but I will double check okay. for you again. That's what we're here for. Uh, when reduced to 50% of their starting position pool. Okay, got it. So I get bloodied at five. Yes. 
and I will double check on that just in case. Uh, because if it if it turns out that you get bloodied at half of whatever with the bonus, that's way better for all of you. And contrary mm-hmm. to popular belief, I do want you to succeed. I just want you to have to work for it. Mm-hmm. So, did you all roll your initiatives? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, I'll start with Drac. What did you get, Drac? I rolled a nat 20, so a 21. Ooh. Delightful. Dang. Uh, Eric, what did you get? I got 15. Lovely. EJ, what did you get? 14. Well, the Mimic's initiative DC is 11. So all of you will be going before it. And it is standing above you, EJ. Excuse me. Zach. And it is looming and it's got its weird spindly tongue coming out. Honestly, it's like twice your size and four times as tall. It is nasty. And it's kind of like like bobbing and weaving a little bit. It looks like it wants to like basically pick you up and then put you in the chest. Perfect, perfect. Uh, is it like open? It's it's like fully open right now, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with my club. I want to pull my club out of nowhere, um, and bonk it, bonk it right in the right in the face. Go ahead. Question Make mark. Roll. Okay. Uh, twenty-two to hit. That sure as hell hits. Yeah! Oh, I'm so strong. I do 1d4 damage. Okay, that's six. Six damage. Max so you, damage, you baby. just like hop up and just bonk this thing right in the chest. And I mean chest is in its face, not chest is in its like torso. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you do see it splinter a little bit, which is weird because it's a living thing. Horrifying. Uh, ooh. That's all I can is, do. I kind of like... your turn? Uh... I mean, if I move out of range, it'll get this opportunity attack, correct? Yes. Okay, then I, ju- I just kind of, like, I position myself so I'm not directly in front of it. I'm kind of to the side of it as a little bit, but that's it. You don't have to move. You can stay. I kind of, I kind of want to move. No, you can stay. <laughs> oh, I move, like, right behind the chest, actually, so I'm still in melee range, but it can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is a massive uh, brain. That's fair. And then who would like to go next? Because you all go first. Lucky scrubs. <laughs> I mean, if I see it splint, I'm like, if it acts like wood, maybe it burns like wood. Um, so he's gonna um clench his right fist and he's gonna uh add a small flame gonna erupt in it, and it's just gonna throw a fireball at the um at the mimic. And he has to make a DC a dexterity saving throw, DC eleven. Oh, uh, no, that's an eight. Oh, perfect. Then it takes max damage, eight points of fire damage. Okay, you see this thing light up as you just get a good swing on it. Eight points of damage. Nicely done. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to just back up a little bit. I want to stand behind Monty. (laughs) I mean, yeah. We're in it. There's the there doesn't seem like there's a place to back out. So I gotta take this thing out. Monty pulls out his 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 heavy mace and he's gonna bring it out to attack. Do it. Yeah, see how well he does. Uh, ten to hit. That will miss. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, uh, do I? Uh, he likes. I don't know where to hit this thing. <laughs> Under the lid is right there. The tongue, the tongue is like everywhere. Um, the face. It so it brings it to its turn. It looks at you, Monty, and it charges forward and basically tries to whack at you. Mm-hmm. You will, in do fact, I get, get an opportunity. That, yes, you do, Zach. <laughs> okay, sixteen to hit. That hits. Okay, uh, five damage. Five more damage. Nicely done. Fuck. <laughs> and this thing sprints towards you, Monty, and it makes a strike. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. That misses. So I'm, it's, I'm quick on my feet. It swings its massive arm down with spindly fingers, but you roll narrowly out of the way. And that brings us back to the top of the round. It is again your turn, Zach. <laughs> I chase after it as it goes to Monty. I hit it once, and it keeps running, and I go... God, I have played with Dark Souls players like you. <laughs> I'm a gamer. What can I say? 14 hit? That hit. Yay. Okay, five again. Nicely done. 
You are definitely seeing it start to wear down. Okay. I'm going to also just stay around the back of it. Like, I'm going to use my movement to stay around its backside. Why? <laughs> you could get closer. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna try two hand swing with my mace. Hell yeah! Versatile, natural twenty. Hell yes! Ooh. That'll do. You can be doubling do. dice and adding the modifier. Yeah. So it's a D8 because it's double handed. Yep. Uh, so five, uh, six, seven, eight. So that's nine bludgeoning damage. Oh my gosh! Maybe we should fight this dragon. I don't know. We're pretty strong. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, you you can be my guest. Uh, <laughs> And then I, I'm going to use, with my mace, I can use two position after the a successful attack to uh, increase my uh, AC by two for the next turn. Ooh. So I, like, just come down and, like, I'm ready to guard. Very cool. So that 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 is another thing that I like about this game, because even though you have your pool of health and ability, you can use that for advantages, which is why rolling that extra position in the beginning is so useful. You're getting an extra pool that you can save for taking damage or you can use for abilities if you would like. So then that's going to bring us to you then, Drac. Yeah. Um, OK, so I have a question. Yes. Um, I'm going to cast Fireball again, because obviously yep. I will. But um, here it says, um, it says all of the, I guess, info about casting Fireball. One of them, yeah. it says cast, and then it says three next to it. What does that mean? Where was it? Um, uh, what page is it? I think it's page 157. I think um, it cost position to use. Yeah, so it costs one position to do, but then um, it says casts. So it's C-A-S-T-S, -S, and then we were three next to it. And I don't know what that means. Maybe that's how many times you can. That... Yes, that's 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 how many, many times time. that's how many times you can use it. Okay, and then, and then like... it, it refills when you rested a bonfire. Okay, okay. Yep. Um, that's that's a great question. In that case, God damn it, he's gonna pull out um his hand axe from his side and he's gonna run run towards. Um... I mean, if in in retrospect, don't forget there is a bonfire in the same room. Just oh, just... that is true. Just so you have that. Okay, in that case, he pulls out a hand that goes, nah, nah. I put his hand <laughs> back and throws a fireball again. And he has to make a DC, a dexterity save, DC 11. That is a six. Whoa, it's, I thought it would have a way higher dex. I was really worried. No. It's, um, it's, it's a box with arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. that's fair. That's fair. Um, I rolled a se uh, seven. Okay. Seven fire damage. Seven more fire damage. Well, this is upsetting. Um, <laughs> it's going to turn around and try to basically eat the little guy. What does my shield do? Because I'm holding a plank shield. Uh, it should add. Let's find out. Yeah, because you're basically like... Learn to click. <laughs> All right, so shields are page 214. Uh, plank shield. When using the shield, you gain plus one position at the start of every combat. If an enemy scores a critical hit against you, the plank shield is broken and cannot be repaired. So it also increases your AC by one. Ooh, yay. So your AC I'll never is get increased hit. by one. At, mm, never die. I don't know about that. I'll never die. That's what it means. Um, all right, to, hit me if you can. <laughs> I'm going to roll this attack. I hide so my it, whole body behind the plank. It tries to bite down on you with its massive jaws, and something's wrong. When it was hit by Monty in the head, I think it messed up its sense of awareness because this thing doesn't have eyes. So it leans in to bite onto Zack and then goes like two feet to the right. That is a nat one this thing abominably misses. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I'm going to kill you. Um, <laughs> that brings us to the top of the round. As soon as it misses, I go back in with my club and go, God, you're the worst. <laughs> it's what I do. Oh. 
good. I also rolled them. <laughs> good. My hubris. Good. Yes. <laughs> Just like Icarus himself. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll try and double-handed strike this thing. Uh, seventeen to hit. That hits. This is only going to be seven. Eight damage. Eight damage. How that? It is. It is genuinely looking worse for wear. Okay. Um. I Can have I... another question. Go ahead. Unless, uh, unless Eric, do you have anything else to do on your turn? Uh, no, that is, that is it for me. Unless anyone, well, I don't think I can do it here. But do is do people need healing? I'm I'm good. Like okay, stitches is way far in the back. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. He just like I'm just like, bam! Are you okay over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all good. Um, um, so I did a one pyromancer spell called um combustion, and um it takes an action to cast but and it basically adds um fire damage to any melee attack i do mm -hmm. do i have to does it take an action to cast combustion or is it combined with the melee attack uh and it was combustion you said yeah that is a pyromancy spell correct yeah let's double check All right. Combustion. Casting time of one action. Um, okay. So, well, hold on. Uh, it can be used to make a melee attack. Uh, so it sounds like... The hand bearing your primary glove erupts into flame, lasting for one turn. It can be used to make a melee attack, which is successful. Deals three d. So I would, I would actually say that, like, that you can use it as part of the attack. Okay. Um, in that case, he's gonna like charge towards. So, yeah, it's like it's like doing a smite or something. Exactly. Like that. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna charge towards this um thing, um, <laughs> this mimic, and actually has his hand axe in hand this time. And swings to slam it into the side of um, it. And that's that rule. Uh, nat 20. I um, hate you. <laughs> uh, I think that's 66 fire damage. Um, it yeah. still doesn't make, so I think I still deal the hand axe damage, but then it has to make a deck saving throw to avoid that extra fire, I think. That's what I'm understanding from this anyway. Seems about right. So it no, it's it looks it looks. Uh, da, 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 da. So you're 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 essentially attacking with a glove, actually. Oh, okay. So okay. like roll it's roll as if you were attacking with the hand axe, but then the damage is going to be separate. Oh God, help me! Uh, <laughs> that is a natural one on its deck saving throw. Yeah. Uh, so roll sixty six fire damage. Yes, this is my favorite part of any game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this way worse. <laughs> no. You guys no. are beating up my monsters, and I don't yeah. like it. I left a dragon, then this was supposed to be more of a challenge. You're just digging into my mimic soul. Originally, I was like, maybe I'll reduce the health. I don't have to, apparently. <laughs> We're like really strong. Um, 25 right. points of fire damage. Good. Holy. And actually, I, I could increase the damage by spending three position. So I'm going to spend three position to add an extra d6. Uh, just to make sure it's dead. <laughs> I mean, that would be an extra 2d6, technically. Oh, extra 2d6. Oh, that's a critical. Tap, dude. Yeah, I've got to double tap that. Uh, it's another, another seven points of fire damage on top of that. Great. That's so awesome. 32? Yeah. I think so. Uh, this thing burns to an absolute crisp. And all of you, after this encounter, you had no souls because you lost your souls above. But thanks to killing this mimic, you gain, and I'm going to double check, 450 souls. Each? Now, yes, each. Now, in the Dark Souls role-playing game, 
we have mentioned that there are plenty of different uses for souls. Souls are used as currency to buy items, equipment, spells, anything of that sort. And just like in the video game, they are also used for leveling up your character. And to level up your character, you must do it at a bonfire. Now... Gabe tries to be benevolent sometimes. I was also hoping that someone was going to die so I could have you rule on the chart again. But we can't <laughs> always get what we want. You get what you need. 300 souls is the amount of souls required to go from level one to level two, if you would like to do that. Yes, please. Um. <laughs> yes, yeah. So go to the bonfire. Oh. all of you go to the bonfire. So don't I don't don't say that. <laughs> I am personally taking hey, that as just a challenge. Little guy, just a little guy. I'm the little guy. <laughs> you can't hit a little guy. Come on. Ooh, that makes one of us. Um, <laughs> and so you go to the bonfire. You find your rest. You sit down calmly and relax. And you are spending the three hundred to level up your character. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, to no surprise, as you were leveling up your character, you are adding one position die to your pool. So, Ooh. just as a reminder, for position, which is on page 101, whenever you level up, you increase your base position. So, when the character reaches, they add their constitution modifier to their new level for their existing base position. So the way that this is different is that you're not rolling your uh, position die to add to your general health. You're just adding your constitution modifier. Your position die comes into play when you are entering combat, which is why your health is higher during combat, but sometimes traps might get you just as well. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's level plus, the new level plus, your con or just con it is the new level plus your con okay so and it that's is, our it new is, base position that is that is added to your added base to position the base. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. yes yep so if, if you had a base position of 10 you are now level two my camera just died oh, oh. it happens if you sometimes when you open a window over the thing over the the, the web browser Oh, now we can't hear you. I think that might this might have actually happened to EJ literally before. Oh, it did. Yeah. I just I just disconnected everything and then reconnected it. Very savvy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, turning it off and on again is a lot of IT people's suggestion as well. <laughs> I mean, you'd be surprised at how often that works. Yeah. Nope. Nope. No. You can also uh, if you hit the little cog wheel. Change your audio source and then change it back. What about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it no. cut out again. We said we had what about and it has stopped. Hello. Hello. Okay, we hear yes. that. Yes. And then we no. out. Cursed. Lord of Sin. Okay, wait. <laughs> we had Lord of Cinder. <laughs> I'm going to close the settings. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. 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 The, okay, your panic made me. Your panic <laughs> yeah. really made me doubt. It, <laughs> so we can hear you now. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. So what I was saying was, whenever you level up, the number that you're adding to your position is mm -hmm. the level that you're going to be. So at this point, two plus your constitution modifier. So if you, let's say you had a constitution modifier of one, two, and one, you're adding three to your base position. Got you it. now have two position die, which means that when you are rolling your position die for combat, it is you are rolling your level, your level's worth of position die. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you've, when you're going into combat, now you would roll 2d10, for example, EJ. Yeah. And that is the bonus health that you would have to go into this circumstance. Perfect. So let's let's actually take a moment. Uh, and we're going to revisit what each class these characters are. I'm going to go to EJ last because the deprived is a mess. Uh, Eric, <laughs> yours is the cleric, correct? Correct. 
So at level two, the cleric gains life giver. At second level, your healing spells are more effective. Whenever you use a spell of first level or higher to restore position to a creature, the creature regains additional position equal to two plus the spell's level. So if you use a first level spell, they get an extra three position back just from you casting. Ooh. Drac, you are the pyromancer. Yes. So the pyromancer, if I can turn pages, gets flame guard. At second level, you're intimately acquainted with fire. You are resistant to all fire damage. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> And the deprived. Oh, that's annoying. Um, <laughs> you will probably have to look at this a bit yourself because okay. you get to choose any second level ability from any non magical class. Ooh, what? Okay. Cool. So that could be, it out. Yep, that could be from the knight, any of those. The mercenary, okay. you'll have options. Any second from any non-magical class. Yep. And I can I can send you a list later if you would like. So that that is one of the reasons why there is some value to playing the deprived. They are a mess, but they're very fun if you can really get into it. Gabe could never do it when I played the video games. I was terrible okay. at it. Terrible, but some people who know builds they can rock it. So, you all know what's out there. You all still have, I think, 150, 150 souls left on us, and then 150 yeah. waiting on a trap. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, there is. What can I get for 150 <laughs> right here? I do not want to leave. Um, no, this is fine. I'm rearing to go. Something else is a reminder. That uh, some of you do have Estus flasks. Oh. Just yeah. for healing. Wait, so we don't heal at the bonfire? You do, but Estus okay. flasks are a way to heal outside of the bonfire. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Also, I'm a way <laughs> to heal outside of the bonfire. Yes, <laughs> that's and true. Now, and now that I leveled up, uh, there's there's no longer a chance I heal you for zero. Because <laughs> you always had two. <laughs> yeah, Yeah. because I'm I, now, I, now I heal you for at least two. And this time, this time, your position will be a little bit higher because we know the rules in entirety for when you're rolling initiative. Yeah. So are you okay. all ready to revisit the end of days? Mm-hmm. Hell so yeah. So here's the game plan, um, little guy. Fight? Um, you run directly at the end of days and okay. Monty and I run away. I mean, listen. Around it? I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm a, a good person, but I, I would just say, you know, maybe we all just run away. Just with the awareness oh, yeah. that there's a trap and that uh, now we will be aware of it and less likely to die from it. You know, we can get so yeah. much, we can get so many souls from the dragon. Uh, I, th I don't, that thing turned a, a dog monster in the paste and yeah you know i'm already paced sometimes so i don't think that would do anything to me uh yeah we uh, a a treasure chest tried to eat you and it took us a minute and a half to beat it to death yeah that's a good point i run yeah, yeah we run uh <laughs> all right so let's roll initiative i run. love Bye. not having to roll initiative for creatures yeah Genuinely yeah, really good. It's not good this time. I'm still running pretty good. Uh, Dirty 20. Okay, that's 13. fast. That is still fast. And then what Square did you enough. do? So, EJ. That's fast. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to double check something because you rolled the same number as the creature. Oh. Please, please. Don't forget your position. Does that apply? Oh, yeah, position. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. Eric, I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
Was that 13 taking into consideration your negative one? It was. It was an 11 plus two. I was originally plus three to, to, but now I'm plus two. Dang it. I was hopeful. <laughs> I know. I know. This new position is like a lot of math. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Right? I love yeah. it. Hell yeah. And I wrote max for everything. Um, Ooh, gamer. Equal to or above the enemy creature's initiative value is still considered fast. Yes! yes so yes, you yes, will yes. act before the creature. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun fact that I think is good for anyone who wants to run this game. If player characters are facing several different enemies, each with a different initiative, then the creatures use the initiative value of the creature of the highest challenge rating. Ooh. So if there is a boss creature and there's a bunch of little minion creatures inside of it, they will still use the initiative of the boss creature. That Ain't that some Dark Souls? You're like going against some eldritch horror and a, like a little guy with a knife stabs you from behind? Yep. Yeah. And you're like, how did you yeah. get here? Time. Yeah, what was it? Is it the Deacons of the Deep? Was that one that was extremely annoying for me? I remember there were like a bunch of priests and only one of them had like the um, boss within them. Oh, but yeah. But the others yeah, would yeah, still yeah. attack you while you're trying to go after them. Yes, it's absolutely horrifying and a problem. Now, I will also say this, this game does include difficult terrain, things like that. I'm not going to throw that at you yet. I'm going to wait until Bravo's back so you all <laughs> suffer together as a group bonding exercise. Yeah. But yeah. I will not stop pointing out the Dark Souls beauty of the fact that you all are basically stuck in a tutorial area because there was a boss <laughs> that you tried to run past and then the trap killed you. I so, just imagine it's it's like, uh, which one was, which Dark Souls was it where like uh, you spawn and then there's like a weird like frog like eating a thing and then you're like, yes. I could take this and then it just eats you and it's like, <laughs> no, you shouldn't have gone left. What do you, why would you go left? Yep. Mm. All right, you know what? So you are all speeding past where the creature is. And all of you do know the location of the roll of the uh, poison dart trap. You're aware of it. You know the presence of it. So just make a dexterity saving throw for me. Um, question, are souls on the trap still they're right they're right after it so you're gonna have to succeed okay, on the okay, save okay 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 <laughs> okay get us get us souls right before death and um, and, and a, 11 is more than enough right <laughs> i also wrote an 11 but when i my shield has an ability i can spend one position to re-roll a failed dexterity saving throw um so I'm going to do that if 11 doesn't make it. <laughs> it does not make it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It is a 14. Perfect. I rolled a 15. Uh, 16 with my... Uh, okay. Uh, so you... So both Stitches and Zach roll around... Ro they You trigger the trap as you have to go through the spot, and you roll away as the dart comes. Monty, you do just... accidentally trigger the trap. But the nice thing is, it seems like after this couple shots before, you do have a bit of the timing, and the dart goes way past you. Nice. Heck yes. Yeah. You all have reclaimed your 150 souls, bringing you up to a total of 300. We should go back and level up. No, we're That's going as we can yes, keep running. That is, it, is, it is more next time. <laughs> I love where your head's at. I love where your head's at. I threw a mimic at you just to give you the amount you needed. I'm not going to be that nice again. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. And as you step through and get away, you do see tufts of flame billowing out the doorway as the end of days. Tried to scorch you on your way out, but just wasn't fast enough. But if you decide, you can definitely, you can definitely come back and fight it. Because it definitely didn't land from flying. 
That's Dark Souls, though. They don't leave after that. <laughs> <laughs> and before you, you see what looks to be an endless forest. Tall oaks rising up into the tree line. You hear frogs in the distance. Crickets, even. And you see what look to be shambling figures far in the distance moving through little bits that have swamp-like remnants to them. Something is calling you forward. You see almost a flicker of a flame in the distance. Something, something is calling to you unkindled. All fours. Um, where you go? Okay. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask, and probably going to, I guess we're walking towards this feeling we're having. Um, do any of you remember anything that happened before you woke up there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember a lot of screaming, uh, a lot of people running around, um, a bunch of arrows landing near me and then nothing. So I imagine some landed in me. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's about it. What were you, little guy? I remember a ball of fire. <laughs> oh. You seem awfully eager to run towards a dragon after that being the last memory you had. You don't know until you try. Besides, we we beat the chest very easily. We are very strong. I think my weakness, is, my weakness is projectiles, clearly. Mm -hmm. Dragons don't shoot arrows. I mean, this one didn't, but... Yeah, uh, we don't know. Um, Do you remember anything? Yeah, normally chests don't yeah. try and eat people, so, you know. Well, now we learned. <laughs> Honestly, I thought someone just put, like, a, a classic like, poisonous smoke in there or something like that. It's like a classic. I didn't expect it to be a living thing, so I guess it's another thing we need to keep an eye out for. As you're walking through this swampy like area, you see figures in armor walking through this swamp like area. This I said swamp like area, anyways. You see figures in knightly armor walking through the swamp, sloshing in the marsh, seemingly unaware of your presence. They do seem like they're following a pattern in the way that they're going down and up and down and up in rows and then reverse back and forth. So you are able to avoid them heading forward if you so choose to, or you could try to, try to fight some uh, I, I learned a long time ago, you stay away from knights because they're all self-righteous. They, you know, they got some yeah. Lord and, you know, suddenly, you know, you did the cut off your hand because you because you, you look you didn't salute the right word no, no. yeah or like hang you for theft and murder or something like yeah that. yeah really or they're just looking to somebody to hang so they they you know because they're, they're, they're like oh we haven't hanged to somebody yeah yeah we, we probably should have avoided. i've never been hanged neither have i but uh you know i came close yeah, neither, a few neither times. have i I got came close a few times. Make a perception check, everyone. Uh, you need a sixteen or above. Okay, so uh, so. Oh uh, shit! I rolled on that one. <laughs> I'm temporarily blind. Uh, Thirteen. So, so I rolled a two minus one, so one. Oh, lovely. Um. You okay? So you don't notice anything out of. You don't notice anything out of. Hmm. No, that says too much. As you're walking, <laughs> there is less movement as you move past these knights, seemingly uninterested in you since you didn't get close enough to aggro them. And you do see a bonfire further in the distance, 200, maybe 300 feet away. You can just get a glimpse of it. But there is a massive mushroom about 20 feet north of you. Massive in the sense that it is about seven, eight feet tall oh. and wide, like larger than a doorway. Uh. 
I'm not much of a mushroom fan. I, yeah, I'm it's hungry. a text. It's a texture thing for me. I just don't like the texture. Yeah, no, I'm actually yeah. right there with you. It always tastes feels rubbery in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, also, does it everything... look edible? Yeah. Hmm. Everything here seems to want to kill us. I've yet to find anything that didn't want to. Zach, so why, why are you looking it. like that? Okay, we, we can Agreed. check it out at a distance. And then if it seems safe, you can eat it, I guess. Um, yeah. Get closer. <laughs> uh, okay. You get how, how close are you getting? You, it's a large I'm going to walk up and take a bite of the base of it. I definitely turn to Munch and be like, that mushroom's absolutely going to kill them. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. Yeah, 100%. As a, as a we're looking at a dead man. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite things from the Dark Souls games. Now, Edible EJ, mushroom, normal mushroom. How much of Dark Souls have you played, like video games? Not much. <laughs> right. Bloodborne and Elden Ring, and then I've just watched other people play the other. Eric, do you know about that mushroom? Uh, that mushroom. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, I know. Jack, do you know about the mushroom? I don't think so. Great. So this thing oh yeah I've seen pictures of it. yes friend. yeah i was like is it that thing i was like yeah, that's yeah. dark souls right i was uh, like or is that final soon, fantasy as soon as you bite it this thing takes the meanest right hook at your face that you have ever <laughs> seen canonically in the video games if you look up dark souls mushroom there are videos gifs there is so much content of people getting need to see decked the hell out by this by this mushroom that just shows up but I'm so um, little, he can't hit me. You might think, but you can <laughs> aim down. Why? <laughs> Damn, he's not good. Fifteen. Oh to hit? my god. Oh, Whoa. that does. Oh, you're watching. You're watching the yeah, video, right? Yeah. 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 Do I want to uh, watch it? I want to watch it. Listen, um, look, Robert's look, top result is just oh. mushroom beat down. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my god. That's your reaction to seeing him. Stitchy definitely goes, oh, holy shit. That's the form one, that was oh, incredible. One of those like, little, that was little lamps of this mushroom. That's so cute. That's a 15 to hit. Uh, yeah, that does hit. And you take two bludgeoning damage. Mm, did I get a, like, a good bite, though? <laughs> Do we still have... We're, we're, this is an initiative, so our old position yeah, stuff is position. gone? Correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. if, if you would like, you are fast enough to get away from this mushroom. I mean, yeah, but did I get a bite? <laughs> did I bite first? That was no, my full intention. you okay, walked okay, up okay. to bite it and it punched you in the face. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll run, I'll run, I'll run, I'll run. <laughs> you don't have to, you can fight it, but like. No, 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 Zach kind of does that thing on all fours that like cats do when they get like frightened or something where they like. Arch their back and like you're the he doesn't worst. Have spur, I have the hiccups but... and I'm so upset. You're the worst Dark Souls character. That's the, you're the stubber. When I get hiccups, I get progressively more irritated with myself, and that makes me worse of a person. Um, so this is the right place for it. Oh God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of do that scared cat thing, and then I I bound away. Did you get yourself a mushroom? How did it taste? Or it sounded like he got a pretty good knuckle sandwich there. Um, it's slowly walking you guys can all see. behind you. Uh, I'm going to just slowly back away. Um, again, just faster than Zach is all I really need to do. Um, because it seems to be after Zach right now. All right. Listen, I, I'm tired of running away from, from things. I'm going I'm to go after this, this thing. Okay. <laughs> You're funny. All right, bet. I what saw the it form do? it had in that punch. It is no amateur, yeah. okay, but no, nah, it's it's I strong. Feel fine. I feel it's fine. strong and quick, but it's only got that. It's got it doesn't got. Nah, I fought tougher. So go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Uh, hopefully, its initiative mm. is lower than ten. <laughs> its initiative is ten. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so I just barely am gonna get to go ahead of it. Yep. I ordered We're at a 19. 12. All right. And then now don't forget that you are level two. So roll two of your position die and add that to your position as temporary bonus. 
seven plus five. Twelve. Yes, it is. Well done. I know. I know math. <laughs> that I'm wasn't really sarcasm. Good. I was genuinely proud of you. <laughs> I promise. I need my little handy dandy calculator with me whenever I need to add. <laughs> That's what my phone is open to right now. <laughs> Wait, I'm level two now. I yeah. do. I just learn when I level up. Can I just learn new spells, or is it um, do I have to no. like buy them? You have to acquire them. Okay, okay. I don't know if that's true. We will double check that. Later. Okay. <laughs> I think I think it is acquiring them though, actually, uh, because they sense. all have like they have like different uses. And like level requirements, yeah. and that that is that is the way that the Dark Souls game did them, anyways. Yeah, yeah. And sense. you can only have so many. I, I you might yep. be able to have, but I I can only have three currently. Yeah. Same. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, at least three worth. Because I know some might take up more treatment slots than just one. So. And all of these stat blocks that have come up uh, are canonically in this game, except the end of days. That one's mine. I made that one <laughs> for all of you. Yeah. I took the worst. I took the worst pieces of other things, and I gave him a low initiative because if he went before you, you were fucked. Um, yeah. So yes, large mushroom person will definitely be going last. Um, um, who would like to go? You know what, Eric? I think you should go first. Yeah, you yeah. decided to come down yeah. and wreck this. Yeah, I, soul. I, I'm tired of running away from inanimate objects i'm gonna swing with my nope that's probably not gonna be a four <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing you just missed Ooh, oh AC is a big a boy. i imagine like i yeah. i clip it but because it's it's spongy like fungus it's just like not like i was like oh it's it's not a people <sighs> it's not a people mm. yep so that just just barely misses uh who wants to go next? I'm going for it with my club. I'm not that, a that scared cat anymore. Stitches is a coward, so he's always going to go last and just watch everyone else do their thing first. That is a 23 to hit. Yes. I don't ever want Zach to get better equipment, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I I rolled I'm, three it, damage. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, why are you? Do oh, yeah, yeah, you're depraved. You're you're holding a, a stick and you're hitting him with a stick. That's right. I'm that quite makes literally sense. holding him with a yeah. stick. Yeah. yeah, they gave if me a I very poke nice him mace. With a stick, does that do different? Do you know what could poke him? Okay, no. I swing it. Okay, I swing it. Twist <laughs> uh, my then, arm. <laughs> is there anything else you would like to do on your turn, then, Zach? <laughs> No, I guess um, I want to like, like use my movement to hide around its feet so it doesn't come back at me with the, the right hook. But I don't think mechanically <laughs> anything. No, but that's a horrible idea. Then it would just sit on you. Yeah. Well, Zach hasn't thought of that yet. So <laughs> now he's just scared. <laughs> Stitches, it is your turn. Uh, Stitches again, just the classic. Palm engulfs in flame and throws a ball of fire at it. I need to make a deck save. This thing is... It's a fungus. It probably is, hurts a lot when it hits, gets hit with fire. That's a five. Wait. No. It's a negative one. <laughs> well, yeah, it definitely takes the damage. Um, that's eight points of fire damage. This thing has a dexterity of one. Ooh. Oh, like sure, it's a one. I was like, one modifier? Yeah. That's pretty good still. No. Nope. Just, so sure what is one. what is the damage? Eight damage. Eight fire damage. Eight damage. Okay. Yeah, it's not looking great. You all, it's a mush, it's a large mushroom person. Yeah. It's it's not having a great time. Um, it's gonna try to punch <laughs> you though, uh, Monty. Fair. You're right there. Ooh, that huh, huh, that's a 22. That will hit. 22 for Seven points of bludgeoning damage. It is like that far back swing and then just decked. Oh, the wow. form is yeah. just, it's honestly impressive. It's I feel kind of bad attacking it, honestly. I imagine he, Monty, because like, so that's that doesn't take me even to my base position yet. So I imagine he just like throws himself back in a way that's very, ad, not very advantageous or cool looking. And he's just like, hey, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> also so one of one of the funniest things is that all of these different creatures like they have their actions and they have interesting abilities 
not all of them are per se good because <laughs> the mushroom person, when the mushroom scores a critical hit, it falls prone as it overextends itself. Oh, oh no. Baby. Yeah, it wasn't a critical hit, but it was very close. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> So then we're bringing it back to the top of the round, and it is all you, Monty. I'm, I'm gonna give the gonna give you the mic once more. All right, I'm gonna just try and smack this thing with my mace. Uh, natural twenty. Oh god, double oh. your dice. Yeah. All right, it's let's so go two d eight. That's an eight plus one, so nine, ten, eleven damage. As I bring it, my hammer down, and then mm -hmm. I will again use position to give myself temp AC. You demolish this thing. You bring it down, and this thing goes from like five feet tall to about one foot as you just smash into it. Demolish it. And all of you gain 50 souls. Ooh. Well, that was easy. Um, are I'll you all okay? Y'all gotta stop saying that was easy. I am trying <laughs> to be <laughs> kind. This is in character. Stitches is that I kind know. of person to be like everyone else is getting hurt. That's I don't easy know for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'd call this easy, but like, um, you know, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. I've been good. I, like, yeah, I don't I've killed people before, so like, I'm a, like I was just like, you know, the the dragon and the dogs, and then you know, a chest with with mouth and hands. But then I'm like, I mean, I kill. I, I I've killed some people, so like, I'm like, I'm not gonna run away from a mushroom man. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not that. I'm not afraid of that. Fair, fair, fair. Um, Easier to kill the man. I just like staying alive, so I avoid combat at any. Oh point. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I I've spent my whole life. Well, I you, I guess, I tried to stay alive. I was not yeah. successful. But no, who is? Who is? Yeah, I mean, you're in good company because I don't think any of us really are good at staying alive. Yeah, um, I was getting the impression that we. Uh, well, we've all. I've all. We've all died together once, but I assume we've all I'm died. I'm still before. alive, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. that's weird. I don't understand that or anything that's going on. Truly. Yeah. I often don't understand either. Like, could you do the fire thing before all of this? Was that like a thing that you could do? Um, I actually don't know. Is the lore of Dark Souls that... I feel like... They... I, I feel like you found your flame after you had past okay um it was it was I, the desire to be, be your desire to become, become lord of cinder. cinder yeah uh gave you a gift whether a curse or a gift is entirely up for you to decide um no i don't think so i feel like i would probably would have stayed alive a bit longer if i could yeah i same because i've got this and you just see his hand light up i oh. don't really know like yeah <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Is that like, are you like a, a cleric? I mean, I'm, I don't, no, I'm just like a guy. I'm, I'm Monty. I'm Monty, by the way. Mm -hmm. Have we introduced ourselves? Oh, I, I don't think we, not really. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I'm Monty. Uh, well, Montgomery, but you can call me, Mon everyone calls me Monty. Yeah. No, I mean, I never had much use for religion in my life. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now yeah. I guess, you know, I don't know what this is, but I got it now. If you got it, you might as well use it. Um, I'm stitches. Too. I just got these when I woke up, and I hold up my stick and my. Plank. I'm pretty sure you just picked that up from. Yeah, the, that was the that, that that well, was just on the ground. Okay, fair. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get it. You get it. I get it. <laughs> I understand things. <laughs> and your Zach, Zach. Zach. Okay. Um, what? With an X and a Q. No, X and a Q. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Zach. I mean, I can't. I guess I can't really judge. I'm known as Stitch. That's okay. That's you know, I, I had a buddy. His name was Xander, but with an X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that got me. <laughs> I'm so mad that got me. Xander, okay, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That can't be real. Um, yeah, stitches or everlasting stitches, whichever one you prefer. Um, are you everlasting? Don't call me everlasting. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not going Apparently to call you not. everlasting. Yeah. You're still alive. I don't know if we count. You've lasted this far. Yeah, because yeah, I don't... Because that second time I died, I felt like I came back less. So... Ooh. I felt great. I mean, <laughs> not great. Me. Like, I, no offense. Don't do that again, please. <laughs> I got wiser. <laughs> Why does that? That's that's kind of laugh, scary. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. kind of worrying. <laughs> that laugh is like the third most terrifying thing I've seen today. Yeah. I want to go to. Okay. I'm a little bit tired. Um, what do you think? What did you get? Honestly, that sucker punch was very impressive, but also it's kind of tiring to watch. I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. should head over to mm -hmm. the bonfire. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe not run into any more mushrooms. I don't think my jaw could handle a punch like that. Nah, those mushrooms ain't nothing. Okay. If you say so. Listen, I'm I'm starting to get the impression we're gonna have to do a lot of killing. And stitches, I understand your 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 your, your nature of not wanting to be in the fight, you know, and that's whatever. But like, you know, if you don't like keep up your end, you're gonna get left. That's just what you know. Okay, well, I don't plan. Like I'm not trying. To, I'm not. I I want you to know. I don't want to like leave you behind. But if you are slowing me down or causing me to die, I will leave you behind. I will do it. Mm -hmm. And That's I want to be in front of my I will back. also leave all of you behind. I I would I, expect I would that. You know, I expect that. I think uh, I think we should all be on on open. No, that, I would never um, leave either of you behind. Okay. Well, that's stupid. That's 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 that's, that's, that's an ridiculous. incredibly yeah. heroic and dumb I latch thing onto to say. his ankle. Okay. We're a team now. <laughs> mm. okay. You know, I don't know. I last thing I remember, I was being um, hanged, and I'm oh. gonna be entirely honest with you. I might prefer that to than this. Um, can you get off me, please? I switch over to Monty. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's a bonfire. Yeah. The, the, do the, we the hear? Gabe, I need to know. Do we hear that? <laughs> Okay, I just very quietly start stepping away, like away from the sound. I don't even like tell Monty or Zach. Coming from the direction of the bonfire. Oh. <laughs> the bonfire. never led me astray. Um, hey, uh, Zach, why don't you go run ahead and see what, see what that stinging's about? Yeah. I bound forward on all fours. <laughs> like, I feel bad, but the fact that we can't seem to die, you know. I slow down as I approach. You see someone in rags kneeling on their knees in front of the bonfire, hands clasped in prayer and a hood over their head, just softly humming and singing to themselves. Oh. I think Monty is looking at uh, at stitches, and it's like. <laughs> then we we just slowly approach. Yeah. <laughs> Zach is harmonizing. They're having a good time. <laughs> oh, a newcomer. Hello. And they don't turn their head as they're speaking. Yeah. So they're just sitting Zach there in the mouth, not moving. And... Like, like... You can't even see their face. Their face yeah. is pointing to the bonfire. Their back is to you. Um, hey, how's it? Uh, crawl how's in going? front of them. Nice, nice bonfire you got yourself here. Uh, thank you. And Zach, when you crawl in front of them, you see a porcelain doll face with no mouth. I like your song. And they turn their hand, palm forwards towards you, and you see an animal-like mouth there. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> we don't shake hands, because then I would touch your mouth, <laughs> right? No. I shouldn't touch you anyways. You all are unkindled, and I would taint you. 
I back uh, up a little bit. Oh. Hey, they, uh, quick question. They stand up. Oh. And they're standing seven feet tall, Ooh. long arms extending out. They look very gaunt, but their face, again, is that of a porcelain doll with no mouth. And their hand, they put it palm out towards you as the mouth continues to speak. Speak your question, child of Cinder. Child of Cinder. Uh, okay. Um, why are we, quote unquote, alive? And what exactly does being kindled mean for us? That was you. <laughs> you are essence a flame cannot burn without fuel for the fire you may become fuel for the fire or start a flame anew of your own you have a choice unkindled what choice will you make And they turn their head slightly back towards the flame. And they reach out with the hand that the mouth is on and place their hand inside the fire entirely. As they pull it out, flame dances around their fingertips and then is pulled into the mouth as it sucks in. And they clench their fist. Would you like to join me in prayer? Um. I mean, I've never been a religious guy, you know. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite cleric line I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, what, what do I do? Do I, I close my eyes? Um... So this is the moment of the Dark Souls game where it gives you that like prompt of yes or no. And since everyone said yes, there's that... Doom, doom, sound. And then a prompt pops up as you are given an item. Oh. Each of you are given prayer robes formed Ooh. from the swaddling clothes of Prince Lothric. These fraying rags are nevertheless suffused with power. The Lord of Lothric was, after all, destined to become a Lord of Cinder. So they give you a bonus of 13 plus your dex modifier if you wear them. Ooh, okay. And there is not a strength requirement. But there is a special effect to these robes. Whenever wearing prayer robes, you gain resistance to slashing damage. But you make all constitution saves at disadvantage. Oh. Hmm. Lightning just struck after I said that, and it was incredibly <laughs> ominous. <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah. Now, you're not required to put these on. And you can ask me yeah. again later what they do and what they are, if you would like. Uh, but you are given the prayer robes. Do you don them and activate? I'm going to go full Dark Souls. Do you don them and then use a praying, I don't know, gesture next to the bonfire, per se? Uh, you know, I'm looking at my my character sheet. I think I don't have clothes, so I will. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Put, <laughs> I will put it on, and then I will completely bow. In prayer. Yeah, I would. I would do it. I mean, if we're all do, I mean, I'm already wearing robes, but I guess what's well, yeah, so different? Like different robes, I guess. Okay. <sighs> Lovely. As you pull on the robes, the flame ignites bigger, wider, larger. It starts to swirl and dance. It becomes almost unbearable and you feel yourselves need to step back. And then there's a bright flash, a blinding flash. And the figure stands up and bows past the three of you. And you see a giant stepping out. Oh. The giant looks down at the th four of you, all wearing similar robes, and continues to walk past. Oh my God, Lightning, you got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> continues to walk past in the direction all of you came from. 
seemingly clever enough, all of you avoided a hostile encounter by donning oh. these robes and praying along with a priestess of cinder. Be Eventually, great. the giant is far in the distance and you hear a bellowing roar, a similar one, once, twice, and then the third time cut short. And then, boom, rolling in the distance, sliding across the ground, you see the head of the end of days, one of them decapitated and serpent like. Oh. His work imperative and bold may the cinder protect all of us and the figure's face the priestess cracks up the middle doesn't break but now there's a single crack from top to bottom the floor Ooh. is yours Hey, um, you know if that um, Jan's going to be coming back anytime soon or... Oh, the Cinder Lord. Yes. It should be a while. He shows up when there are newcomers. Newcomers who would not don the cloth. But that is not you lot. The last group, well, monsters. Uninterested in phrasing the flame. People seem to come out of that area often enough. The beast seeks them to feed. But doesn't always do the job. So the Lord comes to confirm. But you three, no. You are true, faithful of the cinder, of the flame. You are, <laughs> well, I would almost call you kindling instead of unkindled. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thanks. Are we supposed to laugh? Was that supposed I to don't be a know. joke? I have, no, I have no idea. Your face is cracked. Oh, I. Yeah, hey, we don't, we don't, yeah, there's, uh, uh sorry. Don't talk about people about that. Yeah, like yeah that. you don't talk. Like, it's like, it, it, like if their face, if their doll face is cracked or if their mouth's on their hands, you know, it's, it's rude to bring that up. I think it's cool. It just wasn't cracked a minute ago. So the left side okay? drops. Oh. Are you okay? Look what you did. And inside of. I offer an Estes flask. <laughs> if they're not okay. You <laughs> offer an Estes flask to this figure. And you see a sunken, like, chasm where their face should be. And you see what looks to be a beating heart underneath half of the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I think they're fine. I think they're fine, Zach. I think they know. Yeah, they get, they yeah. got a handle on all this. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the, for the clothes. It's very important. Uh, thank working. you. The pleasure is mine. Yeah. Um, do you know where the nearest bonfire is? We don't want to overstay our welcome here. Do you know where the nearest bonfire is from um from here there is a flame of life not far ahead thank thank you thanks oh, that way. and they point like northeast no, stitch is also I like bow and walk awkwardly. backwards <laughs> oh, he does not walk backwards with sack <laughs> <laughs> the right side of the mask falls and as oh. zach is watching facing the opposite direction as the others you notice that the heart does beat but it looks like it beats every 20 seconds Doof. zach why why walking backwards still i think i think we're i don't think they're okay at all <laughs> i don't think this place is okay and i don't think we're okay 
Yeah. I don't think anything's okay. I feel fine. <laughs> and you do all find your way to another bonfire. Not far in the distance. This one looks like it's a, a remnant of an encampment, actually. Hmm. And you Can see I... a summoning symbol nearby. Ooh. Um, could we... Rest? Rest, yes, but also um, there's this uh, symbol. I'm guessing you can bring someone over if we need some extra meat shield or something. Yeah, I mean... I love help. I love help. I, I think we got a pretty cracked team of... Uh, Cowardly pyromancer and the uh, hey. little guy. You, you call know. it cowardly, I call it cautious. No, no, I, I respect call it cowardly too, if you ask me. Okay, I respect cool. it. I respect it. You know, some of my best friends were cowards. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Um, and I'm just going to summon whoever this is. Um, and I guess I'm going to try and activate this summon thing. Nah, you know what? I think this is a great place for us to end this episode <laughs> of the Dark Souls RPG. Because the lovely thing is none of you asked what color the summoning signal was. Yeah, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. No. Oh, so yeah. here's the thing, EJ. In Dark Souls, there's four different colors. There is a white summoning sign. It summons a phantom. And the phantom in the Dark Souls RPG restores the summoner to full base position. And it does the same to one other player character of the summoner's choice. A gold summon sign summons an ethereal warrior of sunlight to your aid. You gain the service of a warrior of sunlight who has actual stats. And they will fight alongside you after a battle or an hour elapses. There's a purple summon sign. Used to call up the berserker spirits of the mound makers. These warriors attack anything and everything. So they might attack foes or they might attack you. And then there are red summon signs. An old cruel spirit appears, determined to duel the summoner. Like the warrior of sunlight, this spirit uses the silver knight statistics. It immediately attacks the summoner and is only interested in them. It pursues them for the duration of one combat or for an hour. If it succeeds in killing them, they awaken as normal at the nearest bonfire. If the summoner manages to kill the spirit, they gain triple the usual reward of souls. Ooh. Okay. Stitches 1v1. <laughs> Stitches running. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Stitches run v1. Yeah. <laughs> like, Although, it, Stitches wouldn't hour. have to fight them alone. All of you could fight alongside Stitches. Mm -hmm. If you chose to, or you could, could. just leave him to die. Yeah, <laughs> that is also I mean, an option. Unless you would waste it, just been acting. I wouldn't blame you if you just left him to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will revisit what color this summoning signal is next week. They will get into a little bit more nitty gritty. We will introduce you to a few new rules and go over how some of the newer equipment might work in the Dark Souls RPG. Zach might get more than a club. And with that being the case, you will see how some of the other abilities work on weapons, unless Zach just decides to brute force their way through everything. We have it's worked so far. I hate the fact <laughs> that that's true. We have three more episodes left in this learn to play. I am so excited for what comes next because now, now that they've gotten through it and they've died once, I'm not pulling punches anymore. Fuck. Okay. So we will see you next time on Saving Throw, Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific for the Dark Souls RPG. We're gonna go do we're gonna do outros though because I want to make sure that you can follow these people before I put them in their graves. EJ, <laughs> please go first. Hi everyone, my name is EJ. I'm in chat. That's one big egg. I'm also on Twitter, several big eggs, which is a great name, no matter what anybody else will tell you. <laughs> You can also find me on Friday nights at Stella Luna's channel. We play a game with um, Cassie, who is not here today, but will be here next Thursday. We play a game called Unbound every Friday night, where it's just very gay, lots of big sword lesbians, if you are into that kind of thing. So, yeah. Thank you. I have taste. 
Yeah, who wouldn't like Highly that? recommend it. Uh, Eric. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you can always follow me, mostly Eric, on all the social medias. And then uh, besides this, Sundays at 7. 7. Yeah, Sundays at 7. Right? Is it 7? No, 7.30. I always forget. That's when I leave my house. Uh, Sundays <laughs> at 7.30 on B and, uh, on twitch.tv slash bnb tabletop is uh, the Board and Barrel. It's our, our board game show where me and a bunch of buddies play board games all the time. Hell yeah. Eric, I, please, I'm, I'm worried about you. Uh, I'm worried about you and your times. Please don't be late for your show because I want to watch it and I would like you to be there. I no, it's fine. It's it's the, the it's Sunday. There's no traffic. It takes me no time at all to get there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Drac. Hi, I am once again the lone Draconix. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Draconix. That's D R A K O N I Q E S. I kind of stream all over the place. Um, if you see like previous episodes of Unbound, you could see me there occasionally playing uh, a character that has a cool reveal. Um, but every other Friday, um, I'm over on um, Q Times in a villain campaign called Parliament of Owls at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, on Wednesdays, I'm over on Rule of Law and, um, at 6 p.m. Pacific um, in a cyber system campaign called Infant Horizon. And I think that's everything. Oh, you can hear my voice in every other third, um, every other Sunday um, in an actual play podcast called Super Idols. It's kind of like magical girls plus pop idols mesh together. Um, it's a ton of fun. Uh, yeah, and that's everything I do at the current moment. Also, I'm one of the scenario writers on Damus Academy, and we funded today, but it's still not too late to jump in and back the Kickstarter. So, do that. Hell yes. And I'm Gabe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the internet sometimes. Gabe James Games. I do. Wow. I was gonna say, I do, and then just name social medias. Um, I do game design cosplay and vo uh you can find me at gabe james games pretty much across the internet most of them are going to have weird stuff i am excited that you came to hang out with us thank you again to saving throw for giving us this space to play and enjoy this weird weird story thank you for <laughs> steam forge for giving us the chance to play on this game uh oh i also worked on this game i guess i should talk about that i worked on this game it's i'm very excited that people are getting to be able to enjoy it Definitely pick up a copy if you can. And we will see you next week where I, I'm going to put in the centipede thing. Also, <laughs> uh, also, do you, Jack, do you remember what I said about the centipede? It secretes toxins. Mm -hmm. It's got and mouths it mouth on, on its, its feet? feet. Why? Y'all just met someone with a mouth on mouth their on hand. hand. Yeah. 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 All right, we will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye.